Hey internet, what's up? Zach, Wave Artists 14 here, and man, it has been quite a while since I've seen you last. So, we're just gonna get right into this tutorial, which is about another tutorial I've done before. Now, it's just a remake, kind of. The last one I did was in Sony, and this one's gonna be in After Effects, and it is the smoke one. It looks like this. Diamonds HD, I made this one for him, so you can go check him out. But uh, the main difference, or actually the two main differences, is that in After Effects, it outputs in 16 to 9 aspect ratio, and in Sony, it's 4 to 3. Also, After Effects is way easier because uh, it's more customizable, in my opinion. Actually, that's a fact. My opinions are facts. Just kidding. But I really do think it's more customizable. You can change all these colors however you want. So, and you might be asking why I'm just now making this. because, And that's because uh, I've been getting a lot of requests lately. So, no, I'm just kidding. I haven't, I've never gotten any requests, hardly. Okay, so we're just going to get started. Comp settings, new composition, uh, 1280 by 720, 29.97 frames a second, and we're going to make it 6 seconds long. So I'm going to go into Sony, or not, Video Copilot is what I meant, Action Essentials 2, and I'm dragging in Atmosphere 4. And we're going to drag that down there, and we're going to name it Smoke. I'm also going to create a new solid black and hit OK. And we're going to move it below and we're going to name that Bug Background. We're going to go in to two seconds, that sounds good. And we're just going to move the smoke up so that it's in the middle of the video. Like the, where it shoots out from is in the middle. I brought up the proportional grid. And we're also going to right click, time, enable timer mapping, and we're going to uh, stretch out the composition to 15 seconds. But we're going to go to the two second mark, create a keyframe, and drag it in to 15 seconds. So basically, what that's doing is we're speeding it up. From two second, where, where the smoke is going to be at two seconds, is now where it's going to be at at 15 seconds. If that makes sense, we're going to zoom out and grab this last keyframe and move it to 15 seconds, so that it doesn't completely fade out at the end here. And then we're going to go back to comp settings and change it back to six. And we're going to cook the smoke, effect, uh, generate, ramp, and what colors do you want to make it? Pink? Purple? I heard purple from the girl way in the back. I'm just kidding. Girls watch stuff about editing? I think not. Alright, we're just going to go with this. First thing I could think of. Nice purple and a nice blue. No, I'm just kidding. The other the other girl sitting next to her shouted the blue out. Uh, who am I kidding? Okay. So you can set this ramp up however you want. That's my personal preference. Looks nice that way. And like I said before, per my opinion and personal preferences are correct. So you better do it that way. Just kidding. Okay, we're going to create a new text. And we're going to name it awesome how's that sound I'll tell you how it sounds it sounds awesome <laughs> uh, I make myself laugh and we're gonna center it if you center it it makes it a lot easier later on to do what we need to do now we're gonna click awesome layer pre-compose and we're gonna name it <laughs> what you saw that coming? I don't believe you. Awesome. Then we're going to create a new solid black. 
and we're going to move it down below awesome and we're going to name it glow color and we're going to name awesome that text layer we're going to name it glow title and then we're going to duplicate the glow title and we're going to name it awesome and then we're going to take this where am I at? oh god Comp, we're going to go back to comp 1 and take the smoke, control copy, or control C, which is copy, and then control V, we're going to paste it in there and move it right below awesome. And this makes it a lot easier because now the smoke from here and here are exactly the same, so they mat they'll match up completely. And the glow color, make sure you have it in this order, top text layer, smoke, glow title, glow color. And also with this glow title, we need to add a blur. Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur, however you want to say it. We're going to make it 25. That looks amazing, doesn't it? I think so. But we're going to set this glow color, alpha matte glow title. And we're going to ta uh, take the smoke, alpha matte awesome. So now it looks like that. And if we hit the transparency, everything is transparent but the text and the slight shadow around it which is why we named it glow because it kind of looks like a glow when we go back in here as you can see so that looks pretty cool now we're going to go back to awesome and we're going to control c copy it all go back to comp one and paste it now without deselecting any of it layer precompose productions i did not spell that right productions there we go and we're just going to rename this glow title because that's a text layer. Productions. I think I spelled it right. Double click awesome to productions. Did I spell it right? Let's hope so. Now we're gonna select it and move it down to we're gonna just gonna scale it down. Ooh, I spelled it right. And whatever you do to this top text layer you have to do the exact same thing to the bottom text layer so it matches up properly so we're gonna go back into this we're gonna shut off awesome and look at that it matches perfectly so now we're just gonna get to the animation part so we're gonna hit scale on the awesome which sh I shut off productions so I only have awesome we're just gonna scale it up big time I get excited when I scale things up. That's why I yelled. Ooh, 999. What a great number. And we're going to hit hit the uh, stopwatch. To set a keyframe. Move forward to 15. Set it back to normal size, 100. And then move to 215. And bring it down to 75. Just so there's a little bit of movement in the in between. Flying in and flying out. And then three seconds, it'll be at zero. So we're going to shut off awesome and bring back productions. And if you notice I'm going kind of fast, it's because I've done, this is literally the third time I've done this in the past 30 minutes. There's something wrong with my uh, other recording software, so I'm forced to use Hypercam unregistered. So if you see that watermark, that's why. Now we're going to take this and just scale it up. We don't want, like the C is not going to go away, so I'm just getting rid of the U on the side there. And okay, we're going to hit the stopwatch, move forward to 315, bring it to 100, bring it to 515, and go back to 75. Like I said, so there's a little bit of movement. Ooh, I guess we can't go to the 6 second mark, so it's going to be 529 and go down to 0. Okay, so... Right here we have this and see how it's flying in there to hide how it's just kind of see that's ugly so we're gonna select awesome hit T for opacity and at the zero we're going to keyframe it and it's gonna start at zero at the 15 or at the one half second mark bring it up to 100 and then at two and a half seconds Hit the keyframe so it stays at 100, and then at 3 seconds, back down to 0. Then we're going to do the same thing with productions. Hit T, 
keyframe it, set it to 0, 315, 100, 515, nope, still 100, and then 529, 0. So let's see what we got here. It fades in, flies in nicely, the shadow looks good, flies out, fades out, and of course this is just rendering mode, so it's not, now it's real time. That looks pretty nice, if I may say so myself. Alright, so now we get to the interesting stuff. I'm just going to give you a few little hints to make it more unique. We're going to go to smoke, and let's say we set this to both white. Now check this out. That really makes the awesome pop. So you can change, all I did was go to the awesome pre-comp, or not pre-comp, the awesome comp, and I selected the smoke, and I just changed the color of the ramp to whatever I wanted. Maybe, oh, no, not that dark. Maybe we want something like that. And it just fades out. Maybe we want the complete opposite of the normal smoke. See, just multiple effects you can do there. Let's say we want to change the background color. So we're going to select in the normal comp, BG, change it to red maybe. And this doesn't look good at all, so you have to really be careful of what you're uh, changing the colors to. And we're going to change the glow color, that's why I had to name it glow color so it's easier to remember. And we're going to set that to the same thing. So now, it kind of... I don't know. I don't like, I'm not, I'm just showing you different things you can do. I don't like that at all, personally. But, whatever you like. So I'm just changing it back to black. And then, change this back. And there we have it, back to normal. So, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you, and uh, show me your work, leave it as a video response down below, and uh, before I let you go, if you haven't already, thank you to those of you who are still watching. Um, my website, waveriders14.tk, go check it out. Um, yeah, just go, just go look at it. You don't even have to do anything on it. Just give me some traffic. Fine with me. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, leave me some, I mean, just leave me some feedback. It always helps. And that's all. Zach, Wayfarers14. See you later.